I think there are three reasons why the world order is under pressure at the moment. One is an old one, that is the uh, shift of power from the West to emerging powers, in particular in Asia. That is a development which has been going on for at least two decades, but we haven't accommodated those rising interests enough in the existing structures. The second reason is really that some of the institutions as such need reform because there are new challenges out there, new uh, issues need to be tackled. If you take, for instance, the World Trade Organization, it needs to be adapted to new problems that arise. And thirdly, uh, I would say the US plays a crucial role because the United States were the shaper and guarantor of the post-Second World War order and the structures that were created. And now Washington seems to be turning against many of the institutions and rules and principles that are enshrined in this order. And if the major player that actually built the order suddenly criticizes it without actually engaging actively in a reshaping, that weakens the structures. At the moment, it's very important that we gain a general understanding first how valuable this order really is to, to all parties involved, um, but also to the emerging powers which feel they, they have been left aside for a while. So a principled understanding that a certain structure of order, a certain legal underpinning and a certain way to actually hence manage conflict, conflicts and, and situations where you need a moderation of interest, that this is a very valuable thing that global order can provide. Once we have re-understood this broadly, I think the challenge is to look at the new policy issues that have arisen and think hard whether it is possible to go down the lane of a more sectoral approach, which many people advocate these days, saying, well, we should just find like-minded countries and we should work with them and create new structures and new rules, or whether we need an overarching approach. And I believe there is still an argument that we need a broader approach because it will simply not be as we would like it if we start working with small groups of countries on one issue, for instance, on climate change, with others on trade, and possibly then we also relook at our security structure. And that would simply not be what we used to have and it would be less valuable in my view.